now we have question 31 and we are proceeding with the solution of the paper January 2019 if we took a speedboat nine hours to travel a distance of 1080 kilometers what was its average speed in kilometers per hour so we know average speed is total distance over total time taken now we were given the uh, distance will be 1080 kilometers and the time is nine hours so we divide this and we get 120 kilometers per hour therefore the correct answer is c now we have this item 32 refers to the following diagram of a trapezium so we are finding the area of this trapezium and we know the area of a trapezium is half times the sum of the bases times the perpendicular height the perpendicular height is three centimeters the bases are 12 centimeters and eight centimeters so we add the bases to get 12 plus 8 and that will give us 20 and multiply by the perpendicular height and that will give us half of 20 is 10 times 3 which is 30 centimeters squared the correct answer is C now let's proceed to 33 item 33 refers to the following circle with center O so if the circumference of the circle is 15 centimeters the whole circumference is 15 then the length of the minor arc AB, this arc AB over here, is what? So we know that the length of an arc is given by the central angle of the sector divided by 360 times the circumference of the circle. And we're told that the circumference is 15. So we do the substitution. 120 for the central angle, then 15 for the circumference. And that will give us the option B as the correct answer. Now we proceed with item 34. The length of the size of a triangle are x, 2x, and 2x centimeters. If the perimeter is 20 centimeters, what is the value of x? So perimeter is adding the, the distance around the figure, that is the triangle. So let's add all and equate it to 20. So x plus 2x plus 2x equals 20. And that will give you 5x equal 20. And we divide both side by 5 to get x equal 4 centimeters. Therefore, the correct answer is A. A rectangular garden plot 50 meter long and 12 meter wide is used to plant fruits and vegetables. If 80 meters square of the plot is used to plant vegetables, what of the what area of the plot is planted with fruits? So we first of all determine the total area of the rectangular garden, and that is given by length times width. You know, area of a rectangle is length times width, and the length is given as 15 and width is 12. So we substitute 15 times 12. 12 will give you 180 meters squared. Now we know that the area of the plot used to plant vegetables is 80 so we subtract it from the total area 180 minus 80 will give you 100 meters square therefore the correct answer is b the distance around a lake is eight kilometers on a map this distance this distance around the lake is represented by a length of two centimeters the scale of the map is so we know the scale of the map is given as two centimeters is equivalent to eight kilometers so we need to convert the eight kilometers to centimeters in other words we can reduce this by two to get one centimeter is equivalent to four kilometers so but we know hundred thousand centimeters will give you one kilometer because thousand meters is one kilometer and 100 centimeter gives one meter so we just sub in this over here to get the four kilometers is now four times hundred thousand centimeters so one centimeter is is to four hundred thousand centimeters that will be the scale of the map now let's proceed to the 36 this is a cylinder and we are calculating the 
volume. So we know the volume of a cylinder is given by pi r squared times h. Now the height is 8 and the radius is 3 centimeters. So we substitute these values into the formula to get pi times 3 squared times 8. 3 squared is 9 times 8 gives you 72 centimeter cube. That is the volume of the cylinder, which is option C. Now 37 is option C. What about 38? Item 38 refers to the following diagram, not drawn to scale, which shows a keyboard. The volume of the keyboard is 320 centimeter cube and the height is 5 centimeters. If the keyboard has a square base, what is the length of one side of the base? So if it has a square base, if this is L unit, this will also be L unit. Now we know the volume of, a, of this particular keyboard will be the length times this times this. That will give you this. Now we were given the volume to be 320 in the question. Therefore, we substitute with a height 5. We substitute to get you know, L times L is L squared. So times the 5. We have 5 L squared. We can now divide both sides by 5 to obtain 320 over 5 equals 5 L squared over 5. And that will give you 64 is equal to L squared. We take the square root of both sides to get the length of one side of the base to be 8 centimeters. Now let's come to item 39. It refers to the following scores which were obtained by 11 students in a competition. 5, 3, 6, 8, 7, 8, um, 3, then 11, 6, 3, 3. Now let us rearrange this to get this. And the modal score is the one with the highest appearance. And from the rearrangement, you can see that 3 alone is appearing 4 times, 6 appearing 2, and 8 appearing twice. So the modal score is 3. Now let's proceed to this item 40. It refers to the following pie chart, which shows the popular games played by 720 students. Now we know that all must add up to 100%. So what is this percent? We do that by subtracting the sum of this from 100. And that will give us 35%. So this is equivalent to 35%. So we know the percentage and we know the number of students. So we multiply the percentage by number of students to know how many students play cricket. So that will give you 35% times 720, and this will be equal to 35 over 10 times 7, 7, 72. And when we simplify, you get 7 over 2 times 7, times 72, which is the same as 7 times 36, and it will be equal to 252. Don't forget to subscribe to my second channel. This is the name of that channel. You can just search it on YouTube. Tutor Francis. You also learn other stuff from there. So don't forget to subscribe to that channel. Tutor Francis is my second channel. So please subscribe to that channel so that if I upload new videos, you can also get notified. Now, um, if you can still see this red thing here, it means you have not yet subscribed. So you just have to click it so that the next upload, see it is still red. You have to click it so that if I upload the next video, you'll be informed. Click the bell icon too, so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.